quick video here on an Aero ET200 Nailmaster 2 electric brad nail gun. Made by Aero. Mine's an older model. What happened was it stopped working. It just wouldn't fire anymore and I was just getting confused going what the heck happened to my, my brad nailer. I heard things rattling around in this section of the case over you know in this section of the case over here I heard stuff and saw little black pieces rattling around down in there and I took it apart and found all these little black pieces in there. Well after further and further investigation it discovered that those little black pieces were a piston stop. The piston hits against those black pieces and I guess over time those pieces get weak and they shatter. So I thought man I tried looking online trying to find a replacement piece for it couldn't find anything anywhere. So what I decided to do is I had one of these old, uh, you know, fishing tackle boxes. And I, in these fishing tackle boxes, you get a bunch of these little dividers that divide the sections up. I determined that the channel where that little backstop sits is three millimeters wide, you know, from here to here, and 26 millimeters across. And also 26 millimeters from the bottom here to the bottom of this section. So what I did is I took two of these and two of them combined together equal three millimeters, roughly three, maybe three and a half, you know, don't get technical on me. So what I did is I marked it 26 up, 26 over, 26 down, cut them out, put two of them together. As you can see right here, just two little pieces. And they just slide right into that channel. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to, uh, you know, be machined and look like they're there's belong there but it made this thing work so that's all that was important to me was just making my nail gun work again so they just slide right in that that piece right there and they this goes right back on there and it works i ended up putting some white lithium grease just all purpose multi-purpose white lithium grease i greased up the piston here greased up the the head which is what shoots the nail into your wood and I did notice when I took it apart that this spring fell out which is the safety that keeps it from firing without that being pressed and that the spring underneath the trigger fell out too and so I just managed to figure out how they went back in and it wasn't too complicated but the big thing was this piston stop this piston stop is what was causing mine not to work so either way I hope this helps somebody out there